Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, thank you for tuning in to the Bulldog Show. As always, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel of the Bulldog Show, and also there's a free app. As always, we're sponsored by Dieter's Law. If you've got a big class action or a big medical fraud case, malpractice or personal injury, contact Dieter's Law. All right, our top story, Ukraine and Russia debacle. Now, let me just explain this. Nothing really new happened over the evening, except I just want to just explain the catastrophic problem that exists with Ukraine and Russia. First and foremost, we know Putin is a stone cold killer, KGB, Russian tyrant. We know that. And remember, I'm one of the few people that says they're both bad. Then we know that all the corruption going on in Ukraine, lots of bad stuff going on in Ukraine. But here is what I want to just point out to you. The amount, the amount of damage and harm that Joe Biden wrecked upon the world because he, who he is, he did nothing to stop it from happening. I want to turn the clock back. Imagine if Joe Biden and NATO got together and said, it's going to be a no-fly zone over Ukraine. We're putting in tanks on the border. You are not going into Ukraine. Putin doesn't go. Look at all of the damage and harm done both to Russia and Ukraine and the world and Europe and everybody, the United States, as a result of that. Folks, it would have never happened if Trump was president. Never. This is another major thing that is at the feet of Joe Biden. It's unbelievable. And people just, people just want to slough it off. See, these political gangsters like Joe Biden, you think, oh, this is just something, you know, bad happened, you know. No. And they wanted you to forget about what it all means and who caused it all. Joe Biden is a 1,000% destroyer. He destroys everything. And you can't be destroying everything unless you intend to do it. You intend to do it. You know, most people in the presidency, they always get accused of starting a war for political purposes. Joe Biden allowed a war to begin. It's unbelievable. 1.35 million illegal aliens have been set free in this country by the Joe Biden administration. In other words, they've been given the green light to go free out into this country. Do you know that is a greater population than eight of our states? Eight of our states. That's unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, think about South Dakota. That's more people than South Dakota just let loose in our, in our country. Illegals. See what I mean about this guy? The Great Destroyer. Harry and Meghan have been demoted on the website. They're like way down next to Andrew now. There's a royal website. I've never checked it out. I just saw the news report. But it's kind of hysterical. They're going down, 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 down. You know who is cutting loose on him? And I think, you know, you don't want to say the word permanent because I think any, you know, Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis got back together. Uh, you just never know about reconciliation. But by golly, I think William has had enough with his brother. I mean, it's pretty bad. I know what that's like. Uh, Fetterman is now beating Oz, apparently, by 7 to 10 points. How can this be, folks? By the way, I was not a Dr. Oz fan. I did not support Dr. Oz. Didn't like Dr. Oz. Saw him as a... You know, you know what Dr. Oz was? Dr. Oz thought that he could be a Donald Trump. A rich guy who then could run for political office. The problem is, folks, everything's a little different. Donald Trump, despite being a billionaire, had appealed to the average Jane and Joe. Dr. Oz has no appeal to the average Joe. He might have a little appeal to the average Jane, as Dr. Oz the TV guy, but he has got no appeal at all to the average Joe. Doesn't. Just doesn't. But still, come on, man. Pennsylvanians are going to vote for Darth Vader over Oz? It's crazy. CDC is now eliminating the mask requirement for healthcare workers. 
This church lady says, isn't that special? You believe it? Think about all that was wrought upon healthcare workers. CDC, ah, you don't need masks anymore. Joe Biden actually brought up, his administration actually brought up that being vaxxed is part of getting ready for the hurricane in Florida. I swear, it never ends. You can't help it. All right, this is a funny story. Russians have been, against their will, being conscripted into the army. Ukraine apparently has some hotline to surrender, like for Russian soldiers, like you call this line. Apparently, Russians are calling that hotline before they even get in the Russian uniform to surrender. <laughs> that's that's got to be one of the funniest things in the history of war. Hey, my name is Igor. I, I will not fight in Putin war. I, I want to surrender. Yeah, surrender. Where do I go? <laughs> Surrendering before they even fight. Trump says he stays up all night worried about World War III. Well, that makes two of us. Um, Biogen paid 800 to 900 million dollars penalties for kickbacks paid to doctors. Folks, this is so evil. Corporate health care. And once again, I'm going to defend nurses, I'm going to defend healthcare workers, I'm going to defend good doctors like Dr. Charles Melman, but I am not going to defend these doctors who sold their souls, sold their souls for money so their wives can get more Botox, plastic surgery, and live in a bigger house and drive a fancier car. How sick is it that pharmaceuticals, and they did it with the opiates, they deal with all kinds of medication, paying doctors off bribes so that doctor pushes the medicine and prescribes the medicine to you, whether you need it or not. Isn't that sick? Is there anybody, I, 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 I swear to God, I'm feeling good. And, and by the way, every day is a challenge. But I'm feeling good that I have the clean conscience that I'm not bought and paid for by anyone. It's amazing. Uh, taxes on student loan forgiveness. Someone has actually now filed a lawsuit, can't make it up, filed a lawsuit saying that he's better off making the payments as planned because based upon the loan forgiveness, he gets hit with a tax bill that he doesn't want or need. Is that not a hoot? Once again, you know what? There was an old saying that we had on the farm is you could screw up an anvil. An anvil is a big piece of metal that blacksmiths use to beat stuff on. It's a big piece of steel or iron. In other words, you can't mess it up. Joe Biden can mess up an anvil. Uh, last but not least, Ian, for all my friends in uh, Florida, I know lots of people down there. I know a lot of people that are riding it out. All the best to you. May your homes not be destroyed. May the electricity get back on. I think you're in good hands with Ron DeSantis as governor. This is the bulldog. Every dog has their day. Hang in there, Florida.